Welcome back. I am Olivia's Olivia's from Mia Tech Home and in today's video I am so excited to share with you guys some DIY Dollar Tree and a budget friendly spring Easter decor crafts. So I truly love to share with y'all Hank Bigger Homes Boutique gorgeous on a budget and I truly believe you don't have to break the bank to have a fabulous amazing home. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook, TikTok, and Instagram. And without further ado let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns. Get out your glitter and paint and let's get to crafty. For this Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take one of the Dollar Tree planters from the $1.25 section and I hot glued some foam into the bottom and then added some stones to really hold it down. I get a lot of wind on my hill. I'm going to set this outside by my front porch. I'm simply adding in some florals. Now I grabbed this bundle of florals from Hobby Lobby. Their floral section is 40% off and I thought this bundle was really pretty. So I'm just cutting um, parts of the flowers off, adding in some greenery and then once once I have that done, I'm going to take and stuff in and around my little planter base. Now we'll see how long this lasts outside. You notice I am adding hot glue to the base of my floral stems. I'm hoping that will keep my arrangement together. I felt like this Dollar Tree planter was really pretty and I didn't end up even changing the color of it because it's just a nice, um, clean kind of, um, you know, off-white color. So anyway, I'm going to take some of this brown paper and just stuff it in and around. And then I'm going to take some of the Dollar Tree foam moss and I'm going to hot glue on top of the brown paper stuffing and then squish the moss down in there so you can't see where I stuffed it. You could add in more greenery, but I was really trying to kind of ration it because I wanted to make two of these. So you guys are going to see me make two of these little pretty planters and I'm going to play some music and let you guys watch me work. And here is how these super adorable little Dollar Tree planters turned out. I think they look super adorable for spring. And remember, you guys can always change out whatever flowers you have on hand that you love to decorate your home with. And happy crafting! For this Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to share with you guys how to make these super adorable little bunny candles. So I'm taking some of this white ribbon I had left over actually from winter and I'm just going to hot glue in and around the candle. And then I love these super adorable little bunny butts from a Dollar Tree. They come, I believe, in a six pack and I'm simply going to hot glue that onto the ribbon. You guys could really use any ribbon to do this, but I just thought this looked super cute. It makes it look like the little bunny has like hopped into the candle kind of. I also found these um, little Dollar Tree candlesticks. I'm going to take some Dollar Tree raffia and just wrap it around the base of the candlestick and then tie that off. These are so easy to do. And I'm just using these flickering flameless candles that I found off of Amazon. Dollar Tree also sometimes carries some flickering flameless candles as well. So check their candle section. And um, I'm also deciding to go ahead and add in some of this cute little gingham ribbon. I was going to simply tie a super easy little shoelace bow and then hot glue that in to the base of the candle and again these candles you guys can get on amazon you can find some similar at dollar tree hobby lobby also has them um, i do love them because they come with a remote timer 
and they're flameless so they're super safe around pets or kids or grandkids or whatnot so they have been kind of a staple in my home um, so anyway I'm just gonna take my ribbon and dovetail my ends I always like to try to use wired ribbon and this little gingham ribbon is from Michaels I also think Dollar Tree may have some pretty pink satin ribbon I haven't seen pink gingham ribbon at Dollar Tree yet but sometimes I do see gingham ribbon in their um, baby section like they have a baby wedding section at my store so check those sections for some different um, Easter ribbon but this was just a fun idea that I had I hope you guys are enjoying it and always remember you can change up whatever decorative accents that I'm using to match your home decor so you could change up the bows to blue or purple or green or you don't even have to add the bows if you like a little bit more of a simple clean look I'm kind of a maximalist gal and a crafty gal so anyway I hope you guys are enjoying it and are super inspired For this DIY, we're gonna make some super adorable bunny plates, and this is gonna be kind of a thrift flip. So I found this gorgeous bunny paper at Hobby Lobby, and it was 60 cents, and then half of, or 40% off of that, because they had a 40% off their scrapbooking and paper craft stuff. So what I'm gonna do with this bunny paper is I just took and cut out a really super cute bunny, and then I'm gonna simply take some Mod Podge and Mod Podge it onto this pretty little antique plate that I found at the thrift store. So this little plate, um, they were actually $8 for this set. I think there were like six of them and they had a chipped bowl that came with it. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Anyway, I just knew it would be perfect for crafting. And I knew this little bunny was going to fit perfectly into the center of this plate. I have an idea for this. I actually want to use them in a wreath, but I need to find the right supplies to add hangers to the back so I could put them into a wreath. Um, or I just might use them in like a tablescape or in a cabinet or whatnot. But this is such a fun idea. So you guys can easily use, you know, just a white plate from Dollar Tree, the thrift store, um, or you can find a pretty china plate. Um, with the Mod Podge, I'm just using like a matte Mod Podge and because it's water-based, I think it can probably just wash off too um, if I wanted to take it off. Um, let me know if you guys have ever done that. Um, I think if you soaked it in some hot soapy water, it'd probably wash right off. But anyway, I just thought this was super fun and I'm gonna let you guys watch me craft and play some pretty music. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. About you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. Forgo, give up everything that I own. Yeah, I'd give it all up now just to be with you somehow. Unexpected love was found. Rose in a garden, and it shows if I'm honest. You're the leaves in mid August, and I've come out here to say that I love you. Ooh, ooh, you, ooh, ooh. Hey. And here is the final product. I think it looks super adorable and I hope you guys are inspired to create a fun little bunny plate or you just enjoy watching me craft.
For this DIY, I'm gonna create a cute little bird's nest. So I took this sweet little container that I had from the thrift store. It's kind of like a footed bowl or you know some type of little cup. Anyway, I'm gonna hot glue in and around the edge of my container and then add some raffia around it as well. Be careful when you're doing this because the raffia, you know, you can burn your fingertips. I actually have neuropathy in my fingers, which as a crafter can kind of be a double-edged sword. I can't feel my fingertips when I'm using it. Um, so I have really tough little fingertips. Um, anyway, that's for another story. But I'm simply gonna take and pinch the raffia in and around my little bowl. And I've made these little bird's nests with so many different types of containers. You guys can use, you know, a leftover sour cream container. You just cover it with a little bit of burlap and then simply make a bird's nest that way. I think these are really cute to add into spring decor and you guys can really make these as large or as small as you want. The next thing I'm gonna do is take some Dollar Tree floral moss and I'm gonna add a big giant dollop of hot glue in the center of that and then add in my floral moss and my cute bird's nest eggs. Now, one thing I am missing is a bird. So the next time I'm out and about, either in the thrift store or Dollar Tree, I'm going to look for a cute little bird. I always used to have birds on hand, but for some reason I couldn't find any for this project. But I am going to add a bird to my little bird's nest. For now though, Mama Bird is going to be out looking for some worms and we're just going to add little birdie eggs to the nest. The world around could pass us by A thunderstorm, a lightning strike As we hold each other Rose in a garden, and it shows if I'm honest. You're the leaves in mid August, and I've come out here to say that I love you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You, ooh. And here is how my super little fun bird's nest turned out mixed in with little bunny plates and the little bunny candles and the spring floral. We have one more craft I'm going to share in this video. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. It really means so much. And thank you for watching the whole video. Thank you for commenting down below. Okay, for this DIY, I'm going to share with you guys how I created these pink topiary um, pieces. I've had so many people ask. You're simply going to take some green topiaries. I found mine at Hobby Lobby and honestly I've used these for several years so they've kind of seen better days. I used some pink spray paint from Walmart and just simply spray painted them several coats of spray paint and I suggest two cans per topiary at least. The next thing I'm going to do is repaint these little garden planters. Now I also found these at Walmart a couple of years ago and I painted them a hot pink for Valentine's Day and now I kind of want to tone things down a little bit for Easter spring and so I'm using this celery chalk paint that I found at Walmart. Now once I had them done and painted I wasn't really for sure how I felt about the celery color so I need you guys to let me know if you like them or if I should have left them hot pink or if I should paint them white or pale pink i'm just not for sure i guess maybe because i don't usually use this color a lot but i have heard that this year is the year for green and green is like a hot color so i thought well since green is a hot color i'm gonna go for it and i use two coats of the celery paint and you guys know i'm a gal who loves a little bit of change and i feel like the quickest way to change decor piece is simply to paint it up so i'm giving it a whirl 
and I'm going to pop my little pink planters down in the topiary and I'm going to set them outside my house. Now yesterday <laughs> where I live it was 80 degrees and today it's like 45 degrees. It's super cold out so I didn't do a whole lot of extra stuff outside my house so I'm just showing you guys how these look inside my house but I'm going to work on my front porch some more for the next video that you guys see. I'm hoping to do my front porch garland because it's supposed to be a lot nicer weather and boy that 80 degrees just got me spoiled so now it feels super cold. I did get Benji Bear out and walk him today though. Um, and speaking of Benji Bear, he is a rowdy guy. Excuse my mess in my studio guys. Here's his Easter scarf. He has been parading about the neighborhood with his scarf. You guys know he loves to show out. He is a, such a little mess, but here he is playing tug of war. If you guys have a terrier, they love playing tug of war. They're kind of like toy hogs, but they always want to play. He is a four, he's going to be four years old this year. So say hi to Benji Bear. We love you guys. Hi to all the kitty cat and puppy dog fans out there. Roof, roof and meow, meow. so much for joining me another fun and fabulous crafting and decorating adventure it's a true blessing and honor to have you all here for those of you all that come back and watch my videos thank you all so so much it helps my channel don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell that will update you every single time I post a new video I post several DIY videos a week on YouTube as well as several a day on Facebook I love to keep you guys crafting and decorating and tidying and just loving on your homes I feel like when we create a little sanctuary or oasis in our home when our you know family comes home our friends come over it just gives them that loving cozy vibe and cozy feeling so no matter where you're at and what size of home or space or room you have do your best to tidy it up freshen it up and look forward to the future with so much hope and joy we are all walking through something, something that maybe has, you know, given us a heartache or, you know, somebody in our family is sick or we're just struggling with some type of loss or, you know, or maybe we're even having a lot of joy and excitement to look forward to. Sometimes God can bring us both of those things at the same time. So no matter what you're going through, keep walking through your journey, taking it one day at a time and giving yourselves grace and especially give the ones in your lives grace. The more we approach a situation or a person with love and grace and mercy, the more our love for God shines through to them and they can see you know, that we love God and that God is there for them. So anyway, I hope that makes sense, but I just love y'all so, so much. And I'm so, so thankful for you. I always love at the end of every video to try to encourage you, to uplift you. I believe that God has truly blessed me with this platform to share my love of crafting and decorating, which I know you guys love, but also my heart for God and, um, you know, just loving on people. So no matter where you're at, do your best to show up and never give up. I love y'all to the moon and back. I can't wait for our next video. And until then, be kind to yourselves, be kind to one another, and we'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.